watch you guys got another video here for you this one's on how to pull data from a drive on a dead computer now I've got a drive here I've got a three and a half inch what we're going to be using to actually pull the data off of and I've pulled this out of a drive and what I want to do is get the data off here now, there's numerous different ways of going about doing this you've got uh, docking stations or you've got caddies or you can also use this tool which I'm going to be using and I'll show you that right now now this works with uh, three and a half inch two and a half inch IDE and uh, SATA drives and uh, this is what I'm going to be using. Now you can get this on the internet pretty cheap, uh, about five to seven pounds. Very useful to have in your kit. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to do this. It's pretty straightforward, as you can see here. It comes as, uh, as one kit, really. Doesn't look much, but it's pretty useful. It's got a USB, so it's going to limit the speed that we can get the data off. But as you can see here, we've got the actual IDE part. Uh, for two and a half inch and uh, uh, three and a half inch and also we've got the SATA here as well which means we can use uh, SATA drives as well you can also turn this into um, a SATA uh, a DVD ROM drive an external one by using an internal uh, DVD ROM uh, drive itself so this is the part that goes into the computer and uh, then we need to plug in the actual hard drive here and I'll show you how to do that in a second let's have a look what else is in the kit there's also as you can see here um, the actual cable and the power lead and we've also got the uh, power brick for the, uh, the actual unit there to get power to it so let's uh, get this all put together but this is what we're going to be using for this one but you can also use these types of drives uh, external caddies as well if you wanted to purchase something like this you can use this as well and as you see all you need to do here is undo this and put the drive inside there and you could use this method as well this works pretty well um, again still the same sort of thing really and you can get these in uh, three and a half inch and two and a half inch as well so we've got the power brick and uh, what we need to do here is put the end of the power brick into there like so just push that in like so and this part will be obviously going into the socket into the wall or an extension uh, lead so I'll just put that to one side for one second okay so here we have three and a half inch drive and what we need to do here is get these connectors on the end there's one for a SATA cable and there's one for power so what we're going to do is just uh, get our SATA cable And this is our SATA cable and what we need to do here is plug this into the end now it can only go in one way so if you look at the end there's like a little notch on that end I don't know if you can catch that little notch there but uh, basically that needs to go into the end part there so we've got that there like that okay we now need to put the power in and this is the actual uh, power lead it's got the Molex on one end and also the uh, SATA power lead on this end here as you can see this can only again go in one way so we're going to look at which way it will go in just put it in like so so okay that's where we're at now and what we need to do next is get the actual adapter itself to actually uh, transfer the data now this part will go into the PC and then we'll have this part here which is for the SATA so we've got the SATA end here and we've also got the IDE so if we had an IDE drive we could put that in there three and a half inch and also we've got the uh, two and a half inch so what we're going to do here is just plug that straight into the end now again this will only go one way so we just push that in like so and as you can see that's the part it goes into and that's it really it's that simple so all we need to do here now is uh, plug the uh, power end of the brick which is this end so we've got the other end in the wall I'm going to plug this into the actual end here and again this will only go one way as you can see it's rounded on the edges so we're, and it's rounded on that edge so we're just going to slide that in like so and then we'll plug that into the wall and then plug this into the computer and then we can pull off all our data that we need 
So let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it looks like on the actual computer once it's all done. Okay, so now we're on the actual computer where we've got now the drive plugged in. So if I go to my computer here, you should see an actual drive which is from an Acer which has been now plugged into this machine. Okay, so once we've done that we can now see all the files on this um, system here which has been uh, in that dead machine so now I'm going to show you how to get the files off now you could drag and drop stuff and that takes quite a while and I'm going to show you uh, basically how easy it is to do so we're going to be using Fab's auto backup I'm going to fire this up I'm going to run this as administrator here okay so this is Fab's auto backup so what we're going to do here now is going to back up the actual um, drive so what I want to do here is find the location I don't want the C drive because this is my C drive of the good machine that I've got I want it located on the uh, drive that's um, on the other machine so what I need to do is come to the actual Acer drive and then come down to Windows and then click OK it's going to load that up okay so now it's saying Windows of the F drive which is good okay so what we want to do here is I'm just going to put some ticks inside here and then we need a location so I'm going to find a location to put this so I'm going to put this into into this location here I'm going to call this Acer Backup like so and that's where it's going to be okay so now we need a location for the backup to go into so I'm just going to quickly locate this uh, file that I've got where I want to be and mine's in archive now this is on a good drive that I've got here so I just need to find Acer Backup which is where I'm going to be putting it now you can make a new folder and call it whatever you like but that's where I'm going to stick all my stuff okay the next thing we need to do is make sure we've got backup in sub uh, folder and then go next that's okay so now we've got uh, this part here now as you can see we're going to take the wallpaper we're going to take pretty much documents um, my pictures um, my music my videos everything there inside this uh, location we're going to keep coming down and you can see it can't find uh, certain browsers but don't worry about that it will find the browser that it suits which is uh, Safari and it's going to take the profile it's also found um, the Firefox there and it will copy everything okay so it's found Outlook and what it's going to do here it's going to take all the information from there and put it into my folder it's pretty straightforward really so let's go and have a look at administrator same thing for that it's going to copy everything from there and this one here it's going to do all of them okay so next thing I need to do is go launch and this is now going to start processing and copying all the stuff across it's going to list files And as you can see copying the files across just let that do its thing now and it will tell you if there's any errors or any warnings now we can restore with this method as well which really does save time so I'm going to let that finish its job and I'll come back a little bit later okay, we're getting near the end there as you can see so pretty much that's nearly all done no warnings no errors so that's all good so that's all now backed up as you can see from that drive uh, it says it's finished so I'm going to exit out of here and what we're going to do is have a quick look at the actual location and inside here you can see it's backed it up and dated it and everything else so if I go inside here and look in archive you'll see that it's got all the stuff that I need all done and that means that frees up time for you to go and do other stuff you know while this is running you can then get on and start to repair another job 
So that's pretty much for this video. I hope this video helps you out. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and also show your support by rating and favouring all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.